We have basketball scouting and analyst, <laughs> analytics expert Ryan Hammer. Ryan, thanks for hopping on with us today. It's a great time to, to get to catch up with you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm excited. I appreciate you having me on. Beautiful. Well, as we know, this is like the biggest week of the year for you, probably with March Madness going on. And for so many people that have been listening uh, the whole season, maybe haven't been paying that much attention to the college basketball season, they're ready to fill out their bracket. And they have just as much of a shot as any of us to be able to get the darn thing right. (laughs) But what the start of it is, is coming up with a champion. It's always the hardest part. And for so many people, they come into it and they're blindly picking. But you have come up with a criteria based off of past winners that can determine a list of teams that by the metrics could be a champion this year. So for the people driving at home that want to pick their champion, what are the teams that have an actual shot of winning it this year? There are seven teams that made that list. And it's funny because like sometimes I don't even like listen to that list and listen to the things that I tell everyone else. And I think that's why (laughs) they always end up doing better than I do. These people, everyone that's listening to me. Um, But the seven teams were Purdue, Arizona, and Houston in like a tier one group. And then UConn, Marquette, Auburn, and North Carolina in the second group. But realistically, all seven have a good chance. There we go. There we go. That I mean, one of those. Yeah, I'd say if nothing else, (laughs) it's a good tiebreaker. A good tiebreaker. Yeah, exactly. Um, So I know you have Ryan a bunch of key metrics you use, uh, like based off of past champions, to determine who is more likely to win. But if you're talking, uh, the other thing people have to pick is some early upsets. Do you have any Mm -hmm. ways to determine in any teams that you found that seem to be particularly likely, particularly ripe for an upset this year? Yeah, I think it's tough because there are teams that I think fit that criteria, like McNeese State, who's a 12 seed. They're going to play Gonzaga in the first round, but I hate their matchup against Gonzaga, and then their second round matchup is tough also. So there are te- it's like a yes and a yes. There are teams that I think fit the criteria that you want in an underdog, but you have to look at matchups, and I think that's why like, I look at a team like James Madison. They're playing Wisconsin. I love their matchup in the first round. I think Wisconsin's good but they play different styles of pace, like speeds of play. And JMU loves to shoot. Wisconsin's going to let their teams, their opponents shoot, so that doesn't bode well for their defense. Um, So I look at matchups and try to find gaps and differentials versus just falling in love with teams. Yeah, I love that. And and as you look, especially with people that haven't been paying attention this season, they like to fall in love with teams that in the past have been like blue bloods. Like my girlfriend was like figuring out her bracket last night. And I'm watching her as she picks it. And of course, she's falling right in love with Duke, UConn, North (laughs) Carolina, Kansas, like these big name schools that have had so much success in the past in the tournament. The people who who haven't been paying attention this year are going to fall right back in love with them. Of those teams that are going to jump off the page at people, who are some of the ones that you don't have as much faith in this year that are going to make a run like they maybe have in the past? Yeah, I'm low on Kansas. Kansas this year, they they've been good at their peak, but they first of all they have a really tough game. Their first game against Samford, they play a it's called Bucky Ball because their coach's name is Bucky. It's like full steam, a lot of guys off the bench, uh, fast pace, full court press, a lot of threes. Very very fun and exciting. Uh, but Kansas is not healthy, even if their guys are all going to be playing. They're they don't go deep into the bench, so they could get fatigued by playing against that kind of style. Um, and I think that Kansas just hasn't been themselves for the last really month of the season. So I'm, I'm fading them a little bit. There you go. You heard it from Ryan. Ryan, can we call you Hammer? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's my name. It's the uh, it's a blessing and a curse. So go I love fire it. away. I love it. We've loved it all week. We've been talking. We said we can't wait to talk to Hammer. This, yeah. This, this week, so. <laughs> but he's he's giving you he's giving you Sanford. Maybe be able to take out uh, Kansas. He's giving you the, the list of champions there. And I got to ask you one more question. Settle a little bit of a debate as the <laughs> basketball actual expert here in the room. How many? brackets do you think you're actually going to be filling out before uh, everything tips off tomorrow um so i'll probably only do two or three total bra- probably two God, brackets yes. total yes. but <laughs> the pro yeah the problem is i'm going to change them 40 times each so. <laughs> <laughs> so you might as well just do what i do and fill out 40 yeah you know? we went back and forth all week i'm like because i'm a type of guy that i do like one or two and i'm just locked in if my bracket sucks my bracket sucks but I want to yep. be locked in the whole time. And Hudson is the complete opposite. He's got 25 men's. He's got 25 women's. He has every possibility, <laughs> I think. So there's I, a, I like no yeah, you playing. He's playing the math and the odds game. I like that. <laughs> I used to do that. For, I used to do like a mascots bracket, a coin flip bracket. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to shoot them on my mini hoop into a mini hoop bracket. Yeah. Uh, but 
at this point, I've just gotten to, I have to put like a public bracket out there. So I basically just use that one. Perfect. Beautiful. Uh, Ryan, uh, you've given us a lot of good info here. I know you've got even more good info. Where can people uh, find you to get more basketball insight? Yeah, I, I think if people just search my name on social media, Ryan Hammer, it's either Ryan Hammer 9 or Ryan Hammer 09. At this point of the year, if you search me on whatever social media, you should be able to find me just fine. Wasn't that a great Riot clip? While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.